Hello and welcome to Grounded, which has exited early access. It is now a full game. The story is all there. Um, so I have previously tried to play Grounded on my on my channel, and it's it's never really gotten a lot of views or done that well, but I honestly love this game. Like, genuinely, it's one of my favorite games. So since the full story is out, the full game is out, it's no longer early access, I want to try again. I'm going to try again, at least for a little while, until the views to how much work I put in don't ba doesn't balance out anymore. But for now, I'm going to try again, okay? We are going to play a new game. Now, I have tried to play other characters, and I just, I don't hey, like- Hey, I'm I don't, Willow, Willow Brand. I don't like their voice lines. So we're gonna just keep going with Willy Willow, and it's gonna be uh, new tubes. Get it? Kind of like YouTube's. <laughs> All right. So yeah, the story is here. It's it's start to finish a complete game. I'm excited. The story's been the last thing they added. You can't run from me, you foul beast. <laughs> you think you outsmarted me, the mighty Muldoon? I don't think so. Yoke's girth. Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, prominent practical technology signs a new deal with cool start it was it was a cool start very epic that's why i wanted to start a new game i know that even from the beginning the story hey. is cave nightmare new my favorite my favorite well what version is it endless cave bottomless pit and possibly claustrophobic passages oh it's so much worse than you ever imagined willow yeah, that was such a cool start. I liked it. It felt so my childhood, because I grew up in the 1990s. So that was that was so my childhood, so nostalgic. Alright. Well, the beginning's gonna be the same, which is gather resources, build a first home, bash a bug's brains in and eat it, you know. Signal detected. Ooh. Whoa, and that's not an alarm clock. That's new. Well, whatever it is, maybe I should figure out where it's coming from. Whatever you say, you know, Willow, dear. Until I wake up. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever totally you say. Totally waking up. Any second now. There's an aphid. I'm gonna bash its head in with a rock. Ah! I missed. Is that an aphid? It's pretty cute die, up close. Die, die. It was pretty cute up close as I beat it to death. 
So, I mean, I'm, I've, I've gotten a good handle on this game's mechanics because I've played it a lot. So, mostly I'm here for the new story. Spacer safety test. Tully's backyard. Alright. I'm not going to worry about reading super long stuff like that on camera. There must be someone in charge of this science experiment. But I haven't seen any signs of anyone else. Good one, Nightmare. Keep me guessing. It's all so real for a nightmare. Wow. Gotta research our stuff so we can build some weapons. Yeah. Um, like I said, the past couple times I've played this game, I haven't had... It hasn't gotten a lot of views. It hasn't been received too well. Because it doesn't have dinosaurs, I'm assuming. And people want dinosaurs on my channel. But I really do love this game. I want to play it. I want to do a playthrough of it, so I'm I'm doing it. Even though I know it's not going to get a lot of views for how much work I have to put into making the videos, I really do love this game and I want to play it. All right, we have our axe. I'm going to put you there, you there, no, you there, 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 like that. We don't really need a rock in our inventory now. All right, now that, now that the main menu is done, I can turn the sound up just a little bit more. I didn't want it to drown me out while I was talking. Is that still too quiet? There's something big moving over there. Yeah, I remember how to block. Yeah, block. A gnat? I hear a gnat. Okay, that is definitely not normal. You bet it's not. Willow. Let's push the glowing button. Ah, what's the worst thing that could happen? Yeah, exactly. Looks like something is happening. Well, that was anticlimactic. Looks like the other two lasers are blocked. Okay. Do -do -do. We're gonna unblock this laser with some choppy choppy choppies. Once we cover this first initial bit, I'm going to probably just play on my own for a little while, get a base established, you know, do all the grinding stuff that takes a while and isn't too exciting to watch. I'll just leave that there. Oh yeah, that's right, I can spy bugs now. How do I do that? No. 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 Taking a look around. Yeah. Mark got a new one here. Yeah, that's right, I could spy on bugs. I forgot about that. Where's the other laser? There it is. Is Mr. B too far away? Alright, Mr. B. Or Mrs. B, I guess. They're actually female. Hello, red the worker ant. ant. One of a hundred thousand mindless drones. No hopes, no dreams. Bound to the will of the colony. Well, aren't you just a little ray of sunshine, Willow? So I know what to do here. We have to kill lawn mites. Where are you? Ah, I blocked you. I don't want to swap between first and third person, but fine. I'll do it for the... The, the tutorial. I like first person for survival games. I do. First person for survival games is just better, in my opinion. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, we need a torch for this. I don't think I can make a torch yet. We need sap. Alright, we're gonna go find some sap for a torch. Because we're not gonna be able to see a dang thing in there without one. Let's see. Where is sap? Oh, there's sap on that stick right there. Beat it, nosy. What? What? Oh. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, I killed you. Now, where was my stick again? Oh, yeah, right here by the baseball. So 
So we're gonna have to research the sap so we can... Ooh. Good thing I wasn't standing there when that landed. All right, where was our science machine that's over here? Hello, science machine. Scan the sap so we can make a torch. Yes, yes. Perfect. Um, we'll scan the rope as well. Oops. Analyze. There we go. We'll s we can't scan anything else for now, but it's at least there. Oh, we need a food and water too. Dang. Oh, I need some rocks and dry grass. All right, we're gonna take care of this real quick. Then we'll go deal with the mites. Actually, no, I could probably deal with the mites first. I want a hammer. So I do need some more rocks for a hammer though. Um, need another rock on our way to the broken laser. There's some more rocks. Perfect. Alright, let's make a hammer. Put you in slot three. No. You. Three. There. Alright, to the late. Oh wait, we need to make a torch as well. All that work to get a torch. Sprig, rope, dry grass. Alright. Do do do. Is that enough rope for it? No, we need one more rope. Uh, now we need three dry grass and two sprigs. Die, die, die. Hello, dry grass. There's one. Is that all I got was one? No, 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 no. There's three here. Now we need some sprigs. Okay, let's go take care of this science machine. And then I'll spend some time just building on my own, getting a base built, all that good stuff. Why does it keep switching my stuff out of where I want them to be on my inventory bar? Just give me a second to let my eyes adjust to that. fiber bandage because I did not bring fiber with me. That's alright, we won't die. We won't die, I say, as I nearly am dead. Um, we're gonna eat one of our granola bars. I know I'm a picky eater, but still. Because those also re regain our health. being a little more reckless than I would be normally because, you know, recording, you don't want to take too much time being at the same time. Alright, I think we need to get rid of this top one. There we go. Yeah, get out of my way. I'm busy. What is this? Scabby. Additional flavor scheme available. Not that. This purple sturdy marble. That's new. Yeah. That's that's a new thing I've never seen before. Seems like something's digging around underneath us. Wow, that requires a higher tool too now. That used to just take a normal hammer. Alright, well. Now we know. I thought I could get some quartzite while I was here, but apparently I now need tier two. Oh, hello, Mr. Ant. Can you get out of my way? We really need some water. Oh, how nice. It's even showing me where water is. I 
I missed. Well, this is a terrible place to have water. Because it's going to fall, yep, right into the puddle. Can't you guys put water somewhere better? Maybe I can climb up the husky weed and get to it. Because if I knock it off, it's just going to roll downhill into the thing again. Huh. At least yeah. it's clean. Perfect. We did it. Oh, we can, we can make a bandage now. Okay, we got water, we ate a granola bar, we bandaged ourselves. Now we need to investigate the machine further. You know, I'm gonna get some clover. Weird that monkey castle on the more wall. dramatic than I expected. Dang, there's so much new stuff in the yard I haven't seen before. All right, I'm gonna do some work in the background, and then we'll go investigate that explosion, and then I'll probably wrap the first video up there. Where's my science machine? It's this way. All right, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some work in the background, then we'll go f advance the story. Hello, welcome back. So, I've been gathering some resources, and now we're making our way to the explosion through the oak tree. We're avoiding the scary wolf spiders. Definitely don't want none of that. Here's the explosion. Huzzah. some food. Um, we're gonna eat some of our mushrooms that we have. We're gonna eat our aphid honeydew. Why not? And one of our acorn pieces. Good thing I'm hungry. Yes, we were very hungry. How cute. We're in the lab now. This looks like nerd paradise. Yeah, it does. But that's okay, because I am one. Uh, we're gonna scan our acorn shell... Let's get our dry grass. And we're gonna scale it, scan the slime mold stalk so I don't have to carry that around with me anymore. Oh, this is new. It's fun to see all the new stuff that used to that didn't used to be here. A button. I pushed a button. There used to be a boss fight that happened, like a mini boss that happened right out here before you were allowed to go in. I guess they removed that. Oh, look at all the sap. Sap is good. Yes, we have plenty of sap now. Warning. Warning. Black Ant Hill. Lab 4. Interesting. Oh, the hedge. Warning, hostile presence. So that's showing all the different labs. <gasps> Burgle! Don't worry, I will help you out, Burgle. We can fix this! We can fix it! System reboot in progress! Boop, boop, boop. Thanks for the helping hand! I am B -b 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. No way. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. Yeah. I am sure this all must be very... I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. 
This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. You bet it is. I uh, sorry about that. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Yeah, sorry about that too. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Where you are, are here in the Oak Lab, built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. How come I can't remember anything? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. And who is Dr. Wendell Tully? Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my c c corrupted memory banks. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Alright, so how do we fix the magic machine? Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! Thank Let you. me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Memory fault! Code 408B3000 ARG! I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too. Oh, it's okay. I know where all of them are. Psh, it's good. It's good. Don't you worry, Burgle. But, but we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located... Try to find the Hedge Lab first. Yep, that yep, reminds yep, got me. it. Dr. Tully Lock, head yep, over yep, to the end. Once yep. you are registered, yep, you know. will be yep. ASL grants yep, in my yep, science shop. Log on to yep, unless yep, you yep, have an yep, exponent. Yep. It's getting late. If I don't make Sorry, but your voice is annoying. Some horrible insects will come around and eat me or something. I already know what to do. Yay. Oracle quests. Now it's just a matter of building some shelter and getting everything started. Alright, I know there's some stuff down here. There's some science there. And this is over here. Google transcription unit 
What is everyone? Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello! My name is Gurgle, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g -g grilling. Grilling? You're useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. <laughs> Pre-prioritizing grilling. That made me laugh. Uh, all right. So I am going to figure out how to get out of this cave I watered into. Um, build myself a shelter. And, you know, just get started on the game. Am I stuck here? Do I have to go through the... Alright, I guess I have to go through the ant, ant area. Alright, we're gonna do that real quick. I love this game, I do. I, I really hope some of you enjoy watching it, because like I said, I want to do videos on this. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, 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 I know. Time to run. Hi! Bye! Nope, nope. I'm not prepared to fight you at all. Hi! Goodbye. This was a dead end. Ah! You can jump! I did not realize you guys could jump. Okay, where? That's where I came from. No, we're just. Is the way oh hello I think this is the way out pardon me don't mind me coming through okay freedom hurrah go ahead and collect all the stuff it wants me to collect Even though I have enough stuff for my wing to And I'm gonna build my first base on a lily pad. Do you wanna know why I'm building my first base on a lily pad? It's because one, bugs can't get you there. And two, it's a nice hub for everything in the uh, top half of the backyard. So, yeah, I like building my very first base on the lily pad. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I know you're tired, but we're kind of in a hurry. We need to get moving before the wolf spiders come out. You don't want to be caught out when the wolf spiders come out. Ladybug. That ladybug seems so much less graceful up close. All right, now my preferred lily pad is the one this stick here leads to, because it's easy to get to it and from it. Whee! So I think I'm gonna actually build next to this pretty flower. Pee -pee, got a new one here. There's the koi fish. Hello, Mr. Koi fish. I'm not bothering with you today. Alright, we are going to build a lean to. Right there. Whoop. Um, we're going to build a roasting spit, except I need some dry grass for that. But yeah, so I'll go ahead and end the video here. I 
hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope at least some of you have, because like I said, I do want to play this game. And I'll probably at least do a couple of videos regardless. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. I hope I hope you had fun.